Howdy everybody. Sharing with you here a customer state story. If you guys don't watch Just Roll Then, I can tell you it is fantastic. Lots of good laughs there and uh, get to see lots of problems. So I'm going to share with you a problem. So I've been working on uh, Opal Manta Turbo and it has a custom turbo manifold. Works great. And I got on a website and there this place is uh, over near Germany or something. And their name is something like, oh, you splendid parts or something like that. Who knows? So anyways, so this is an intake exhaust combination manifold gasket. And it looks like it's made out of uh, some kind of fiber material or, uh, yeah, something like that. Something like, I don't know, aramid or whatever, what have you. So I had a hard time finding this kind of a gasket. And I was pretty happy when I found it because the last thing I ever wanted to do was find a gasket like this one so customer states i ordered this one they sent me this one now i paid some good amount of shipping to get this thing sent here but well worth it if they had got this one so you can imagine my disappointment when i saw this guy so i'd said this one is good that you could use this one on a intake manifold exhaust manifold headers turbo manifolds this one is the kind of thing that you will find uh, this is your bottom of the barrel, absolute last choice. You can't find anything else. I've actually, uh, I'd consider using no gasket at all and just using some kind of a gasket maker. Before I would use one of that, one of these. So what that one is, uh, it is a metal clad perforated, some kind of like a carbon core thing. And it is so thin. I could measure it with calipers, but anyways, so I paid a good amount of money to get this one. And it ended up with this one. So this ding dong uh, said, first of all, he said, oh, I sent you the right gasket. That's These are the same gasket. And I sent this picture to him. And then he said, okay, these are just different gaskets, but this one's better. Now, he said, oh, I've been working on these things 30 years. Well, guess what? So have I. I've been working on these things 30 years too. And this one, uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. If everything is perfect, it might be okay. But uh, if, if you like vacuum leaks, if you like having to retort bolts, studs and stuff, go ahead and get that one. Be my guest. So anyways, uh, the guy's just fought tooth and nail and he doesn't want to budge. And doesn't want to do anything about it. And so now I'm just going, I was going to do a PayPal dispute, but now I'm doing a credit dispute. I just found out that when you do that, they get charged another 20 bucks because it went through PayPal, and PayPal doesn't appreciate them being fraudsters. So, anyways, uh, part of the battle with this stuff is, isn't is just getting your project finished through your own work. You know, tightening bolts, welding stuff, uh, dealing with broken parts, but it's also that vendors can't get their act together and don't want to own up to it. So I'd say... You know, like this guy in uh, wherever he is. If you've got splendid parts, maybe you should uh, stand up, be a man, and take responsibility for when you make a mistake. Uh, save you money in the long run. Okay, guys. I uh, hope you're having a good one. Peace.